Hello guys and welcome to Jacklit channel. In this video we are going to discuss the previous year's questions which came in TNPCB recruitment examination. So it is very important for the environmental science related entrances and if you have applied for the post of scientist in Central for Pollution Control Board this is a good opportunity to gather some previous knowledge because as many questions as we will solve our concept will get clear and we will be confident enough. So those who are new and haven't subscribed the channel till now please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further updates. The first 10 previous year questions are already discussed in the first part. You can get the link in the description. So we'll start with the 11th question. The 11th question was who among the following explains the concept of biodiversity hotspot and the options are on your screen. So among the four the correct option will be option number A that is Norman Mayer explained this biodiversity concept. According to him a region can be called as biodiversity hotspot if it has two criteria number one it should have 0.5% or 1500 species of vascular plants as endemic and along with that it must have lost at least 75% of its primary vegetation. So around the world there are 36 biodiversity hotspots and India is having four biodiversity hotspots the Himalayas in north the Western Ghats and the South Sundaland that is made up of Nicobar Islands and the Indo-Burman region in the East region. So the next question is which of the following animal is found in the tropical evergreen forest and the options are on your screen. So among the four first we have to eliminate because camel leaves in scrub or thorn forest as we know in desert areas whereas giraffes are found in savanna or open woodlands. So the correct answer will be the monkey. Let's move to the second question. The next question is in which of the following places steppe grassland is found. So as we know the grassland steppe are very famous so we had to find which is the correct option. Among the four the correct option will be option number A Central Asia region. Yes the world's largest steppe region is found in the Central Asia and Eastern Europe which is known as the Great Steppe. Moving on to the next question. The next question was very simple. Which of the following animal exclusively eat eucalyptus leaves and nothing else? So here are the options. The correct option will be the koala. So the koala who are found in the Australia region are only feeding on the eucalyptus leaves. Time for the next question from the previous years. The question was Kiwi are a symbol for the uniqueness of which of the country's wildlife and the value of natural heritage. So it's a very simple question I guess. And the answer will be option number C, New Zealand because the New Zealand people are also given the nickname of Kiwis as the flightless bird Kiwi is present in that country. Let's see what's the next question. The next question was which of the following is a hill stream loach species native to the river Rhine fauna of China. So you have to think about this question. And the correct option will be option number D, the sucker fish. And we should note that the biological name is B. fortia quichuensis. The next question is, which of the following living creature is known for its loudest sound? The options are gibbon, donkey, howler monkey or humpback whales. The correct option will be option number D, the humpback whales. Yes, they are known for their frequency ranging from 20 Hz to 24 kilohertz. And please comment that what is the range for hearing for human being. Moving towards our next question. Next question is, who among the following for the first time coined the term biodiversity? So read every option carefully and then think about the answer. So the correct option will be option number A, E. O. Wilson. But in the option if it is given Walter G. Rosen we must select that option because he was the first in the year 1985 who gave the term biodiversity and Wilson published the paper in 1988. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which of the following is known for the world's largest wetland system? The options are on the screen. So among the four the correct option will be option number B. The Pantanal in South America is the world's largest wetland system. So that's all in this lesson. Wait for the upcoming updates related to environmental science and trans examination. All the best to everyone.